Hi YouTube, Draven Dice Shay here, and it's like 3 in the morning, but I don't care. I can't get to sleep. I'm having one of my mania days. Having bipolar disorder sucks sometimes. Because there are days where you can't sleep at all. But anyway, I even took melatonin and I'm still not able to sleep. Anyway, I was able to find this. And I was like, oh my goddess, are you serious? It's my old book of shadows. And I'm actually going to use this again for my rituals and all my spells. And there's my Coven's symbol in there. It was actually the Coven's Book of Shadows for a while, but we all stopped writing in it, so I didn't use it. Then I bought that new binder as a new Book of Shadows. I'm not going to use that as my own personal Book of Shadows. I am actually going to use that as the Coven's Book of Shadows. So the Coven can all decorate that and do what they want to it. But I don't really want the binder. I want this. This is what I'm going to be using for my actual ritual book of shadows. Because this one has so many... Oh my goodness. Spells and rituals and stuff in it that I completely forgot about. Um, the only thing, the reason why I stopped using the book for the first time was because the binding was completely falling apart. But I remember I glued it like effing crazy with... Gorilla Glue, and now it's fixed. You can't just just can't open it too wide, or it'll break. And see, that's the only bitch about this is that I put so much scratching out stuff. This was like my starter book, one of them. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to grab part of that parchment paper that I have and just cut it out weirdly and just write my name. Put a picture of Thoth here with his prayer. Um, Probably the same thing with that, because that scratch out is just bothering me. I don't like how that thing could draw like it's just a black box or something, because that those scratch scribbles just bother me. Because I had to change it when I changed my magical name. So yeah, I could just grab white out and fix that. I don't know. I'll think about it later. It's just hurting my head thinking about it. Oops, sorry. Now, this is my old book of shadows. The Warning to Prying Eyes. Wow, I guess I haven't seen these prayers and all these rituals and all of this in a long time. Hold on, let me read this. This is the book of shadows. The Wiccan faith in my eyes. Wow, this is way back when I was just pure Wiccan only. I am an eclectic Wiccan witch. I have multiple beliefs in the craft. I believe that a witch should try to be the best of a human they can be. Nice to people, respect others, even Christians, and try to live your life to the fullest. This book will contain my beliefs, rituals, meditations, spells, chants, recipes, and for the craft I hope to pass on to my children. I started my spiritual path in 2009. I work with a goddess and her consort, the god. Well, and to put down in many of the deities. <laughs> um... Let me see, oh my goodness. That's my old book blessing. More of a curse. Let me read it, because I really want to read this. Whomsoever views this tome, powers ebb and flow and be known. We speak to none, the scribe marks here, or know the meaning, true of fear. Oh, and this is a warning for everyone on here, too. Allow true cast is set in stone. No pleadings, no pleas, recanting will atone. Silent caution, be thy guide, choose not these words to a set aside. Invited shall the blessing be, threefold thrice is three times three. If theft be thy goal, then seize thy wandering through my soul. For cursed will thy person be, threefold thrice the mode it be. So anyone on here uses my information in my book without my permission, you're going to get cursed. Since I'm showing it. The Wiccan Read. I actually put the whole version in this book. Which is, like, very freaking long. The only part I do not agree with in the full Wiccan read was the part about the Oak King and Holly King. I don't follow that at all. Because it doesn't make sense to me. Um, wow. The Goddess. This is totally different from what I got in my other books. I put, the goddess gives birth to us. She created us from her womb. She is our celestial mother. She cares for us and loves us. For we are her children. She has been. She has black hair like the deep earth. She has pale skin like the moon. And she has blue eyes like the ocean. That's how I always depicted the goddess when I first began my craft. 
her maiden, her three aspects, and I also put she has um, different aspects and different cultures. And same with the God, information, different little bit of information from my other book. The moon phases. My I remember this book. My um, soon, my mother-in-law. We're not married yet, so I call her my second mom. I call her my mom, my second mom. My second mom, which is my future mother-in-law, gave me this book a long time ago, several years ago, actually, when I first started dating my boyfriend, Draco. So this book has a lot of meaning to me, so I'm going to start using this again, because there's so many pages open. Um, full Moon d Names, The Sabbaths, of course, Sowing, which I didn't decorate too much. In this book. I'm going to draw a little skull right there. Or probably cut out a picture of a skull and put it right here and make it look a little nicer. Same with you. I have nothing there. Oh my goodness. I really gotta decorate this a little more. It's dead. That's probably why I stopped using it. Also, I never finished the correspondences to some of the Sabbaths. I never finished the correspondences to the Sabbaths in any of my book of shadows. That drives me nuts. Wow, that's just... That's my old altar setup. That ha how I used to have my altar set up. I didn't put or do any way you please. The Witch's Pyramid. To know thyself and the craft before you practice it. The will to dare and to make heat. Wow. I'm so sorry this video is so long. I just really wanted to share this with everyone. Oh my goodness. That is so going to bother me. All these scratched out words. You have no idea. I hate when I have scribbles all over the freaking book. It drives me nuts. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be a pain to me. And I don't know how the hell I'm going to cover that up, neither. Because the pages in this book aren't white. They're kind of yellowish, like age paper. So white out would not work on that. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to keep that because it shows that I was growing and changing as the years go by. And this is when I put barely information about the tools, but you have enough information to go by it. I don't usually put the history and all that. I just put what they're used for. Their elemental correspondences and energies. And oh my god. See, this is... As much as I like this book, it's going to bother the hell out of me. Like, you have no idea how much that is bothering me right now. That, that damn thing is like that. I'm going to try white out on that. Hopefully it doesn't turn out wrong. Um, yeah. Okay. So anyway, stop bitching, Draven. Stop bitching. Wow. I'm like, I'm all stunned. Like, I'm stunned right now by, I think that's why, oh yeah, because we kept changing the Isabel ritual, so I had to keep cut, uh, scratching stuff out. Oopsie. Anyway. Next section thank you prayer calming chant see I don't have that in my book other book of shadows I don't I have that tarot blessing tarot cleansing magic potion incantation what the hell wow that was that was just wow The Witch's Ruin. Wow, I have that in here? I don't even have that in my other book. The Power of Love. Oh, I missed that chance. I've been looking for that. I think the goddess really, like, wanted me to find this book again. Because there's a lot of stuff in here that I needed. Like, I'm going to start using this book again. I'm going to need a lot of freaking whiteout. I mean, a lot. I guess this is kind of like my beginner book. I never finished it though. Um, consecrate, cleansing, and consecrating. That's never changed. My ritual has always stayed the same for cleansing and consecrating. Yeah, it's always stayed the same. You know, my boyfriend found that and we lo loved the ritual, so we kept it. Wow, my spell to attract you love. Spell, which is not all that decorated in this book. But I really don't care. Insomnia spell. Or AKA, AKA Hecate's Bath. 
which I really love that spell. Three release protection spell. You know, I, I, I miss this book so much. I'm going to start using this again, because this book is just calling to me right now. Oh, look at my little dragon for my uh, dragon protection spell. Look at it. It's so cute, but you can't think it looks like total shit. It looks like a little retarded snake. I forgot to give it wings. There's the wings. The wings are like... Aren't dragon wings supposed to be by the... Over Okay, that was, you can tell this is when I was a teenager when I had this book. Um, yeah, you can tell this is when I was young. Very, very young. Okay. Pain Freedom Spell. I don't even have that spell anymore. Jeez, to prevent nightmares. I have that spell. Um, I got rid of that spell a long time ago. That one doesn't even work. I'm gonna keep it in there though. Spell to make. Wow, these are some of my curse, my black magic. And yes, I do have some dark spells in here for just in case they're needed. Number correspondences. This, let me tell you, the reason why I'm gonna use this book again, all of these correspondences, they took forever to write. Especially the herbal part. I had wrote down almost every freaking herb you can probably possibly name from dictionaries and all kinds of stuff, like Scott Cunningham Encyclopedia. I try to write down as much information about almost every herb as possible, but not in details, just enough about their magical um, properties. Later on, I'm going to put down their medicinal properties as well. Um, okay. Um, that was a nine, but pages upon pages. Probably more than 15, 20, 30 pages and nothing but herb. Of herbs. Correspondences. Sorry, I burped. Casting the circle info again. Put that in there twice. I don't know why. And I kind of missed my old circle casting method I used to do. I changed it up since I last had this book. But I'm going to change it back to this way and start using this cast circle casting method. Because this was when I was really connected to the gods. Uh, opening the circle, that's how you, it, for your, everyone's information doesn't know it, opening means taking it down. We don't ever say closing the circle in the craft or Wicca. Ritual structure, planetary correspondences. Oh my goodness, my planetary table, which that took a lot of work to make that. I had to use a ruler to make that, and that was a lot of time, but I did it. These are the planetary hours. Oh, and by the way, I actually wrote it down in here how to do it. You don't just look at the chart and go by, oh, for, hold on, for, for, damn it, I can't even speak right now, 4 p.m. or 4 a.m., this is the hour, it's a Monday, no, you don't do that. You have to take it and you have to actually calculate it with the sunrise and sunsets and all that crap it explains it right here in this book. Um, I'm going to read it real quick so everyone can do it. Planetary hours change every day. You have to do a little math. First, find what time sun sets, the sun sets and sunrise for the day. Then find length and time between sunrise and sunset. Then the minutes, then subtract minutes from okay, 1,400. Then take those minutes and divide them by 12 to get the day and night minutes. Add minutes from day to from sunrise to... From sunrise to sunset, and then use nighttime from sunset to sunrise. See, that that's confusing as living hell. Planets, uses, and magic. I haven't written it down yet, but I have... Notice how I only have the first seven planets, because those are the only ones I usually use in witchcraft, because those are the natural, usual planets of witchcraft. And these are the astrological correspondences, which I need to... Finish. I just put Blessing for Departed Spirit right there in the middle. See, this is the part where the Coven started writing. I'm going to have to cover this up with something. Because my Coven member started drawing um, random drawings in here, and I'm not happy with this. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to grab some kind of picture or something and just 